been all right. I was thinking, could drop by for dinner, maybe. Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. Ah, huh. haven't forgotten I exist after all. I had to sort some things out. Help my sis. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Wax. Don't need to explain. Right. So, you gonna stop by? How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. <laughs> Sounds preen. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Thin. Man, fuck the fools. Myself. Yo, I think I can grab some lots off ya. Sure. Huh. Get you set up with them cables. Captain Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Man, fuck the cords. Shop local. Shop with Ronald Ronnie the Roster. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Thins. Get your fresh club shards here. What's this?
Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. The hell is this? Patience is a virtue. Fuck those cunts. Fucking hell. Fuck those cunts.
come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? A friend. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. See him inside!
and got against a plane. Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down. Remember them bad UC's 
strung up the last time he was pissed. Oh, oh them plain clothes pigs. Good call, if you ask me. Right. So he must have had a reason to shoot down Prez, too. Then, if he did. A piece of the in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storm's what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. <laughs> Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Never told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn, caked in blood. In mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. <laughs> Sounds like you got some shit to work through. You gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh. Hans, what you holding? Johnny? Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. I'd like to know who I'm talking Old to. Don't lie, Mitchell. You know who I am. Now, hands, show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Don't know you. Don't work for you. So you can fuck off with the interrogation bullshit. Interrogation? We're just talking. Keep it cool, V. Let me ask you again. Who sent you? <sighs> mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. You might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, though. <sighs> Keep pushing. Is she safe? <gasps> Last time I saw her, she was. I can only hope that's still the case. Right. Right. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? <laughs> Dunno. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Atta boy. Black Bolt <gasps> Merrimack, Green Street. Three minutes. Front seat. <gasps> that it? Interrogation over? Already was starting to have fun. Read. <gasps> Slippery motherfucker. <clears throat> what a fucking wacko. Like him already. 
Let's scoot. Hey. You see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coke looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey! Shut it or get lost! Like Thorn. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. How biz? Actually, I am. Though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Arisaka Counterintelligence, terminated for undisclosed reasons. Now, a freelance merc, working for the FIA as of last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually? Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Think of one thing we have in common. Both got potential we're wasting. Being on Arasaka's payrolls, realizing one's potential? Got a grudge. Saka step on your toes that hard. Yeah, they try to off me. Botched it. End of story. You tell me. Makes two things in common. Though something tells me we won't stop at that. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Is my eyes still smoke? I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out.
This is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, she ain't alone. Made some new tunes, locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Don't move. For fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So, it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. The question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Look, every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a chum who'd leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. 
I wouldn't. I'm here, I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi, and my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Some things are more important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name. The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead man. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. All right, I need to make some calls. should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say it'd be a bumpy ride. All good, Jacob? Doggone fairy tale, V. This Rosalind chick? Piece of work if I ever seen one. Thinking we might have had a moment. Shame she ain't finna stay longer. Gotta evac soon. Watch yourself out Now there, the world better watch out for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, just remember to knock before you enter any shady looking digs. See, if I came knocking last night, I'd have missed the chance to meet my babe Rosalind. And you, I suppose. <sighs> That's life for you, V. There's a lesson in all this, don't you think? You'll have to excuse my friend. He's sometimes... excitable. Right. You ought to teach him about the value of initial impressions. At least his kind goes guns blazing. I mean, screw those stab you in the Baxters. So what's the future hold in store for J&T? Two options. We die in Dogtown, or we hit the road, scoot far, far out of here. I guess it comes down to our dear Madam Prez. Will she keep her word? Gonna boost soon. Keep an eye on Jay, will you? One shitty nanny I'd make. Hey, keep it real, V.